Join us as we dive into the frigid depths of the ocean where the orcas reign supreme, unrivaled even by great white sharks. You may have been captivated by their heartwarming portrayal in Free Willy, but the truth about these majestic creatures is even more awe-inspiring. Did you know that orcas have the second biggest brains among all marine mammals, right after sperm whales? That's just the tip of the iceberg when it comes to their social, emotional, and cognitive abilities. Orcas have been observed working together to hunt, displaying empathy towards their family members and other animals, and even passing down unique cultural traditions from generation to generation. But that's not all. In this video we will uncover 10 mind-blowing facts about these incredible creatures' complex intelligence that will leave you speechless. And if you thought their size and strength were impressive, wait until you hear about their lethal shark hunting skills. So grab your gear and brace yourself for an unforgettable journey into the complex and remarkable world of the orca. We guarantee you won't want to miss a single moment. Make sure to watch to the end for the amazing true story behind the orca from Free Willy. 1. The Astonishing Size of Orca Brains Unlocking the secrets of the world's most intelligent marine predators. Orcas have one of the largest brains of all marine mammals, with an average brain size of about 5 kilograms, 11 pounds, in mature adults. This is over twice the size of the average human brain. Their brain size is particularly impressive considering that they are not primates, which typically have the largest brains relative to body size among all animals. Orcas also have a highly convoluted brain structure, which means that their brain surface area is greatly increased, allowing for more neural connections and potentially greater cognitive abilities. Studies have shown that orcas have an exceptional capacity for learning, memory, and problem-solving, all of which are thought to be associated with their larger and more complex brain structure. 2. Unlocking the secrets of orca society. Complex social behavior, cultural traditions, and astonishing intelligence. With brains like these it's no surprise that orcas are highly social animals and exhibit complex social behavior and cultural traditions, including trends, within their groups, also known as pods. They have social hierarchies, communicate with each other using various vocalizations, and have been observed exhibiting cooperative hunting behaviors. Additionally, some orca pods have been known to exhibit unique cultural behaviors that are passed down through generations, such as specific vocal dialects that are not shared with other pods. Here have also been observations of pods engaging in greeting ceremonies when they meet up with another pod, involving vocalizations and physical contact between individuals. 3. The ingenious hunting strategies of orcas, from beaching to wave washing and beyond. As apex predators orcas have been observed using a variety of hunting strategies, some of which are unique to specific pods. In addition to coordinated hunting behavior, some pods have been observed using unconventional techniques to capture prey. One such technique is beaching, where orcas intentionally propel themselves onto a beach to grab seals or sea lions. This behavior has been observed in specific populations of orcas in Argentina. Another unique hunting strategy is wave washing, which is used by orcas to wash seals off of ice floes. In this technique, orcas swim in a coordinated pattern to create a wave that can push a seal off of an ice floe and into the water, where they can be easily captured. This behavior has been observed in some populations of orcas in Antarctica. Some pods have also been observed using a technique called carousel feeding, where a pod of orcas will encircle a school of fish, using their bodies to create a barrier and trap the fish inside. The orcas will then take turns swimming through the school and feeding on the trapped fish. This technique has been observed in some populations of orcas in Alaska. Overall, the hunting strategies of orcas are incredibly diverse and often unique to specific populations or pods. This diversity is likely due to the fact that orcas have distinct cultural traditions that are passed down through generations within their pods. 4. Playful orcas. The importance of play in the social and cognitive development of these intelligent animals. Orcas are known to be playful animals and engage in various types of play behaviors. Surfing on waves is one of the most commonly observed play behaviors in orcas. They can be seen riding the waves created by boats or simply by natural wave patterns. Orcas have also been observed playing with various objects such as seaweed, kelp, and even small boats. They have been known to toss objects in the air, catch them, and then repeat the process. Sometimes, they will even toss objects to each other, playing a game of catch. Play is an important part of orcas' social and cognitive development. Young orcas learn important skills through play, such as hunting techniques and social behavior. 
Play also helps to build bonds within the pod and reduce stress levels. Interestingly, play behavior is not limited to young walkers. Adults also engage in play. This suggests that play is not just a developmental behavior but an important part of the overall well-being and social behavior of orcas throughout their lives. 5. Orcas using tools in the wild, a rare and fascinating behavior. There have been observations of orcas using tools in the wild, which is a rare behavior among non-human animals. One example of this is the use of sea sponges by a specific population of orcas in the northeastern Pacific Ocean. These orcas use the sponges as a tool to forage for fish on the ocean floor. They dive down to the ocean floor and pick up the sponge in their mouths, which protects their sensitive teeth and jaws from getting scratched or bitten by the spiny fish. The orcas then use their free jaws to capture the fish hiding in the crevices of the rocks. This behavior is passed down from mother to calf and is only seen in a specific group of orcas, suggesting that it is a cultural behavior. Other examples of tool use by orcas include using sticks to scratch their backs or stir up the seabed to dislodge prey. These behaviors are thought to be a sign of their advanced cognitive abilities and adaptability to their environment. 6. Unlocking the mystery of orcas' vocal learning. Researchers have been studying the vocal learning ability of orcas, which is the ability to imitate sounds and learn new vocalizations, in order to better understand their communication patterns. In recent years, there have been some exciting developments in this field. One study conducted by a team of international researchers in 2018 found that an orca named Wiki, who was housed in captivity in France, was able to imitate human speech. The researchers trained Wiki to mimic sounds made by her trainer, including words like, hello, and bye-bye. Wiki was able to produce these sounds at a rate that was significantly higher than chance, indicating that she was intentionally trying to mimic the human speech. This discovery was significant because it showed that orcas are capable of imitating sounds that are not part of the natural vocal repertoire, suggesting that their vocal learning abilities are more advanced than previously thought. However, it's important to note that this was a single case study, and more research is needed to fully understand the extent of orcas' vocal learning abilities. 7. Grief and support. How orcas respond to the loss of a calf in their pod. When a female orca loses its calf, it can trigger a range of emotional responses from the rest of the pod. In some observed cases, the mother's family members will surround her and provide physical and emotional support, helping her to stay afloat and even bringing her food. The pod may also take on a subdued and mournful demeanor, with less socializing and vocalizing than usual. Some researchers have even observed orcas carrying the body of a deceased calf with them for days or even weeks, as if unwilling to let go. This behavior suggests a complex emotional life for these intelligent animals, and has helped to deepen our understanding of their social dynamics. 8. Orcas. The masters of empathy and intuition. From protecting humans from sharks to saving seals from predators, the emotional intelligence of these creatures is simply astounding. If orcas exhibiting emotional intelligence and empathy in their interactions with their own pod members wasn't amazing enough, they have also been observed demonstrating this behavior with other species. For example, there have been reports of orcas displaying empathy towards injured or distressed animals, such as seals or dolphins, and even intervening to prevent them from being attacked by predators. Interestingly, there have been instances of orcas protecting seals from attacking sea lions, even though seals are a common prey item for orcas. In one particular case, a group of orcas was observed protecting a seal from a group of sea lions, creating waves to keep the sea lions at bay and ultimately allowing the seal to escape unharmed. There have also been several documented cases of orcas coming to the aid of humans in distress, proving that these intelligent creatures are not only social and empathetic but also remarkably intuitive. In one notable case in 1955, a group of swimmers in New Zealand found themselves surrounded by a pod of orcas that prevented a great white shark from attacking them. There have also been reports of orcas protecting divers and surfers from sharks, showcasing their extraordinary protective instincts. In 2012, a group of kayakers off the coast of New Zealand encountered a similar situation when they were being circled and bumped by a great white shark. Suddenly, a pod of orcas appeared and surrounded the kayakers, preventing the shark from attacking them. The orcas continued to swim around the kayakers for about an hour until the shark finally gave up and swam away. This incident is a perfect example of how orcas have demonstrated their ability to recognize and protect other species, including humans, from potential danger. These rare but awe-inspiring events demonstrate the complex intelligence and empathy of orcas, as well as their strong sense of family and community.
While it is essential to remember that orcas are still wild animals and can pose a potential threat to humans, these stories remind us of the remarkable bonds that can form between different species in the natural world. There have also been observations of orcas interacting with other species in what appears to be playful or social behavior. In one instance, a group of orcas was seen playing with a group of dolphins, swimming around them and even tossing them in the air. In another case, a group of orcas was seen interacting with a group of humpback whales, with the orcas seeming to escort the humpbacks and playfully splashing around them. Overall, these observations suggest that orcas are not only intelligent and emotionally complex animals, but they also have a remarkable capacity for empathy and social interaction, not just within their own pods but with other species as well. 9. Are orcas capable of seeking revenge? An examination of reports of vengeful behavior in orcas and the debate among researchers. There are anecdotal reports of orcas exhibiting behavior that some researchers interpret as vengeful, although the scientific community remains divided on the matter. For example, there are stories of orcas attacking boats or fishermen after previous conflicts, as well as instances of orcas ramming boats or dragging them underwater. However, it is difficult to say with certainty whether these actions are motivated by revenge or if they are simply a response to perceived threats or territorial disputes. More research is needed to fully understand the complex behavior and motivations of these highly intelligent animals. 10. The predator becomes the prey. Shocking evidence of orcas hunting and eating sharks with surgical precision uncovered by scientists. There have been documented cases of orcas hunting and consuming sharks. In fact, some populations of orcas are known to specifically target certain species of sharks, such as great white sharks, and have even been observed removing their livers with remarkable precision. This behavior has been observed in several locations around the world, including South Africa, California, and Australia. Scientists are still trying to fully understand why orcas exhibit this behavior, but some theories suggest that the high concentration of nutrients in shark livers may be a driving factor. It's worth noting that while orcas are apex predators and can hunt and consume a wide range of prey, they also have complex social relationships and cultural traditions within their populations, and some groups may have developed specialized hunting strategies based on their local environments and available prey. Free Willy, the true story of Keiko, the orca who captivated the world. Keiko was born in Icelandic waters in 1976 and was captured as a young orca, taken from his family and sold to an amusement park in Canada. He spent years performing for crowds, living in a small tank, and enduring a life of captivity. But in 1993, Keiko became an international sensation when he starred in the hit movie, Free Willy. The movie's message of animal liberation and freedom struck a chord with audiences around the world. Soon after the movie's release, a movement to free Keiko from captivity began. People from all over the globe came together to support the orca's release and rehabilitation. After years of negotiations and fundraising, Keiko was finally moved to a sea pen in Iceland in 1998. There, he was rehabilitated and prepared for a life back in the wild. But it was not an easy journey for Keiko. He had spent most of his life in captivity and was not used to living in the wild. Despite the challenges, Keiko's caretakers worked tirelessly to teach him the skills he needed to survive in the wild. They even taught him how to catch live fish, which he had never done before. In 2002, Keiko was released into the waters off the coast of Norway. He swam hundreds of miles, crossing the ocean to reach his old stomping grounds in Iceland. But his journey wasn't over yet. Keiko continued to swim thousands of miles, exploring the vast expanse of the North Atlantic Ocean. Sadly, in 2003, Keiko died at the age of 27. Despite the heartbreak of his passing, Keiko's story continues to inspire people around the world to fight for animal rights and the freedom of all creatures. Keiko's journey was one of resilience, determination, and the power of hope. He inspired millions and will always be remembered as a symbol of freedom and the fight against animal captivity. As we ascend from the depths, leaving behind the mysterious underwater realm, let us remember the awe-inspiring intelligence, sophisticated communication, and profound emotional capacity of orcas, serving as a testament to the extraordinary richness of life on our planet. The more we delve into the world of these fascinating creatures, it becomes increasingly clear that they're not so different from us. They experience joy and sadness, form deep relationships, and possess remarkable cognitive abilities that are still being explored. But with this understanding comes a responsibility to protect them and their home. We must act now to ensure that the orcas and their remarkable intelligence continue to thrive in our oceans for generations to come.
It's up to us to make a difference and ensure that the wonders of the natural world continue to inspire and amaze us.